Hi and welcome to this tutorial from Real Engine 4. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the process of adding uh, IS light profiles to our light actors in our world, our environment. Um, I've got um, a sci-fi corridor environment open here which is from my portfolio and I've stripped all the lighting out of it just as, a, as an example so that I can show you um, how to go about getting some IES profiles to use in your projects um, and also to show you how to then apply them to light actors in the world. So with that said, uh, let's have a look at getting started. Okay, so there's numerous ways that we can go about uh, grabbing some profiles uh, to use in our projects. So uh, one way is obviously to use the good old uh, internet. So uh, what we've done here is I've just done a quick search for IS light profiles. Um, now what an IS light profile is and what it will look like is it's photometric data for lighting, uh, which will give you a really um, realistic um, set of behaviours for a light, but also it will display the light uh, in a really realistic way, it's in a realistic manner as well. So you'll get really nice light shapes for um, artificial lights, so things like LED bulbs or halogen bulbs or lots of different types. So any type of light that you could probably imagine there's probably an IS light profile out there for. Um, and this is for a multitude of reasons, either because people have manufactured them for, um, I don't know, things like uh, architectural visualization or for um, offline rendering, that kind of thing. Um, but there's uh, also because manufacturers produce them. So if we do a quick Google search here for, say, like Philips IS files, uh, you'll notice that Philips, who are a manufacturer of um, like bulbs um, for you know, more around the world for in buildings and office blocks and whatever else. Um, they actually release their photometric data for their lights. Um, and the majority of this stuff that they have on their website should actually be compatible with UE4, so you can actually go and use that in your projects, which is really cool, um, especially if you're working on something like an architectural uh, visualization project in UE4. Um, you can go and grab um, some really interesting uh, stuff here to use with your projects. Now, there's a set of IS profiles which I've used a few times for. For work that I've done on my portfolio and you know for, for little projects that I've been working on uh, and it's by this artist here called Derek Jensen just go and grab this uh, zip here um, off his website just go and grab that he says it's free to use so go and have a look at that um, and then what you'll do is once you've got that downloaded uh, just unzip that folder so I'm just going to do that quickly um, and then you should have um, a new folder just called IS profiles which will come with all these Dot IE, all these IES files here. And they're what we're actually going to import into Unreal Engine 4 so that we can uh, go and use those with our light actors. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click in here and I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder IES Profiles, like so. Um, really easy. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just grab, grab all these files. I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop them into my content browser. And what you should see is this stuff should start to pull in the background. Now, there might be a problem with one in there, so just don't worry about that, just click OK. And then you should have all these really cool looking IES profiles to play with. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to click Save All, just to save all of those uh, IES um, profiles for us to use. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in a moment, I'm going to show you how to apply those to your lights. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so uh, what we're going to have a look at doing now is applying some of the IES profiles that we just downloaded uh, onto some lights in the scene. So uh, I'm going to go and create a new light. So a way of doing that is you can come to um, your class viewer on the left here um, and you could just click on lights um, and then drag in a new point light into your scene um, or alternatively like a spotlight or whatever you want, but I'm only working with point lights uh, for this. So you can just drag a point light in. Uh, another way of creating a light uh, is to hold L on your keyboard um, and click in your scene. So let me just do that again. There you go. Uh, so holding L on your keyboard and uh, left clicking into your scene will create a new light. Now that will create um, just a light with like a white uh, color. But a way, another way of doing things uh, in UE4 uh, is you can hold Control and L. So sorry, I should close that down. So you can hold Control and L on your keyboard and then click a surface. And what that will do is that will create a new light um, with the colour of the underlying surface for you. So that's kind of a useful little tip um, of information there. So you can just like create, like I've just done there, I've created a light which is um, a very similar colour to that panel there. So that's one way of doing it. So um, what I'm going to do 
uh, is I'm actually going to I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to try and create a light for this little bulb here. So I'm going to hold Control and L, I'm going to click on that blue bit there, and that will create a new uh, point light for me um, with the same color or a very similar color to those blue lights there. Um, and by default, when you create a new light, that will be a stationary light. Okay. So you can apply IES light profiles um, as standard to stationary and movable lights. Uh, you won't be able to, so if you, for example, if I just convert this over to be a static light, you won't by default be able to add an IES light profile to a static light. So if I was to come and drag one onto here, it would be red and it won't allow me to do that. If I try and click this little button to try and add one, it won't let me. So by default, you will only be allowed or be able to apply IES light profiles to stationary and movable lights. Now, I do know a little way of getting around this, so I will introduce you to that uh, later on in this tutorial. So just with the static uh, stationary lights initially, I'm just going to choose a light profile for this. So I'm going to go with something like X arrow. Um, and there's a couple of ways you can add that on here where it says light profiles, IES texture. You can drag that onto there or alternatively with the profile selected in here, you can click this little arrow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate this. So it's uh, in the kind of position that I want it. I'm going to position it in the world, so it's going to illuminate the floor a little bit. And all I need to do now is just make change some uh, brightness. So I'm going to change this to like 500 on here. I'm going to reduce this down to like 200, um, and then position this a little bit closer to the floor. And what you'll notice is that we now have this really cool looking uh, light shape in here. And there's a couple of ways that you can affect affect brightnesses when working with IES profiles. You can work with um, obviously. These parametrics on the right here, so you can come in and change these these parameters of um, you know on your the intensity and your attenuation and other bits and bobs. But you can also use this uh, use IES intensity, which will over override uh, the manual input, and it will use the um, IES information in here um, to to drive the intensity of the light. So I'm just going to leave it with my my keyboard entry stuff that I've got there, and I can just come in there and, and clone these, you know, put these around the environment and change these up a little bit. So I could make that one like a movable light, so that it will work with those. Um, and then just just um, just for a sake, I'm going to show you. We can add, add some like other lights in here. So if I wanted some like down lights. Uh, if I just go into uh, unlit mode, if I always have some down lights in between here and these sections down the sides, I could then come in and add an extra couple of lights in here with some profiles on those. So I could uh, find this one and then say, look at using uh, this maybe this top post that might work. Um, I could rotate this into place to get a really nice looking uh, down light in here. So I could have something that looks like. I like that. Okay, so I've got some down lights in the scene. Maybe this one might be better for it. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to change this to a movable. Um, maybe a defined. There we go. That's quite a nice one for a down light. And then I could obviously copy that across down to there and then maybe select my lights again in the scene. Um, and just drop the intensity down on those. So. We end up with something like that. So you've got that's how you apply your IS light profiles. So those are applied currently to um, stationary or movable lights. So if you wanted to say, for example, use IS profiles to like kind of get the really nice uh, artificial light shape you're seeing, but you want that on station uh, static lighting, uh, so that's baked into a light map. Um, as I say, by default. If I had a light, it will be a stationary light, which will allow us to. So if I was to change this over to a static mesh, oh sorry, sorry, a static light, and I was to go and try and drag a profile on here, it won't let me. So the way to actually get around this, so you can actually get it to bake into your um, light maps, is um, you will need a high or a, you know quite a, um, a good uh, light map resolution for this to uh, look. Uh, good, but what you can do to get this into static lighting, if you want to, is change it to a stationary light. Drop your um, profile on here, um, so that it's how you want it. Um, kind of position your light, and then all you need to do is just change it over to a static light, and it will actually retain um, the IS light profile information. And that's a way of getting that onto onto a light for you. Um, if you want to actually get that IES information into um, a static light, so that's one way of doing it. So hopefully this tutorial, albeit very short, um, has been um, really useful to you. Um, 
and that you'll be able to apply this to your own projects. I'd also like to put a bit of a quick shout out to uh, Nick Pinkney to say thank you for producing uh, some uh, music for the start of my tutorials. Uh, so thank you ever so much, that's really kind of you. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it's been useful. You'll be able to get this, as I say, onto your own projects, get it into the, the work that you're doing with Unreal Engine 4. Um, and uh, I hope you come back to watch other tutorials in the future. Thanks.